often people don't commit and go through because they're super low risk and they're waiting for everything to be perfect. There's no such thing. people come to me at events and they ask me you know is it a guarantee that I'm actually going to succeed with your program and I say I can give you as much a guarantee as you joining a membership and just by joining the membership it'll give you a six-pack the thing about this is that you can lower your risk as much as you want you can buy the gym membership but it won't give you the outcomes unless you get in and you pick up the gym equipment, get on the treadmill, talk to the private, to the, uh, the PTs, the personal trainers, that'll give you a program, and follow that program, and you'll get a six pack. But see, people wanna buy the gym membership and have the guarantee that when they pick up the weights, they're not gonna hurt a muscle. They're not gonna get any muscle soreness two days after, after training. And see, Darren talks about the green lights, you might be in traffic and the green light comes up, but for every green light that you're looking at, there's a red light going in the opposite direction. And people want green lights in all directions to make sure that their risk is zero and that they can actually succeed. And the fact is, those people that want to succeed, that are super low risk, will never succeed because they'll never commit to anything. We always talk about the three options. The first option is, what if I go out and do something and something goes wrong? The second option is, what if I do nothing at all? And what if I go out and do something and it goes really well? I can tell you, out of all the options there, it's the one where you're sitting at the green line and you can move forward and you don't do anything. That is the worst option. That is the worst option you can take. Because if you're standing still, you're technically going backwards because everyone around you is moving forward. If you go out and you do do something and it doesn't go well, well the fact in that one is that you're actually better off because you've learned something, you've learned your mistakes, and as long as you don't make mistakes twice, then you've actually done, done all right. And then of course the best case scenario is you go out, you do do something, and it goes well, and you learn something along the way. I personally, think that people measure all of those three things from a monetary gain. I don't measure from a monetary gain anymore because when things go well in financials, it actually doesn't teach you much at all. When it doesn't go well and you don't make money, is the time we actually learn the most. And that actually sets you up so that you do make money into the future. Just remember, you'll never have green lights in every direction. So at some point in time, you're gonna to have to put your foot on the throttle and move forward.